so thrilled that our special guest in the studio right now is the fabulous Joey Travolta. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. This is a, a real treat for us. We've had you on the show once before, um, uh, but we were thrilled to have you back again. And I, I was just saying that we talk about you on the show all the time uh, to the point where somebody said, what are you in conjunction with inclusion films because you bring them up so often? And, and we're not. Uh, although I said we, we want to get an intern and, and to start with to work with you in that way. But I think what you do is incredible. Thank with you. Incl inclusion films. And it seems overwhelmingly if you know, we get lots of questions here from parents and from adults on the spectrum as well. But there really it's two categories. It's people who are just starting out and wanting to start a program with a young kid. And then mm -hmm. we get all the people who are saying I have older kids and I don't know what to do to find their passion. I don't know what to do to help them with social skills. I don't know what to do to help them get a job. And it seems like my first answer to a lot of them are talk to Joey Travolta. Wow. <laughs> Uh, okay. And so for, for viewers who aren't familiar, familiar with Inclusion Films, tell them what the mission of Inclusion Films is. Well, we're a practical film workshop that takes adults with developmental disabilities through uh, the process of making a film. Mm -hmm. But it's not about making films, it's about the process of making films. Yeah. Because during that process, you learn social skills, mm -hmm. uh, you learn teamwork, you learn to collaborate, mm -hmm. uh, and the outcome is the film that you can share yeah. with everybody. Um, and we're just finding that it's you know the, it's building confidence. Uh, they're ready to go out, whether they become filmmakers or not, because there's so many things that are involved with filmmaking yeah. other than producing, acting, directing, and writing. Yeah. You know, there's all these vendors and jobs that are associated with it. And one of the things that, you know, I have seen, I go, I go to all these events and I'll meet these young people, um, for instance, Danny Bowman. Uh, and we've had Danny on the show, amazing young woman, yeah. uh, and she's so talented. And and I'll see her with a group of people, and you know, go up and say hi to Danny, and you start talking to the other people and talking to their parents about what these kids are doing and what's working for them. And they all go back to one thing, and they go. Thank God we got our child in. We met with Joey Travolta and they did inclusion films. Mm -hmm. And all of these kids have different talents. And in talking to the parents, the one thing they say is that you really have an eye for looking at the kid, talking to them, and figuring out where to put them, that you don't have a mold. Yeah. That you look at the individual kid and say, okay, what interests you? Okay, you're interested in makeup, then that's where you're going to go. Mm -hmm. Are you interested in, in this part of this, that you have a niche for them? And, and, and now parents are saying to me, well, I don't know that my kid is interested in film. And well, I it's not. They believe me, when they get in and they start, <laughs> they, you know, and you, you know, the, the, the camps are just really you know, a teaser for what can be in the future for those transition years. Okay. So we just, you know, we just find it works. I mean, um, we give these kids a voice. Yeah. And, you know, that's very important when you don't have one. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And so, but there's lots, help me to understand because I don't know everything that you do. You're going to be doing a camp this summer with, uh, in conjunction with Act Today, right. that Cox Communications is helping to sponsor. And and we saw what, what came from that last year. Really, really amazing. What's the age range on that camp? Uh, the I think it's like t uh, nine or ten up to oh. twenty one. Okay. I think is the but those are uh, uh, families uh, 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 of military. Uh, right. The, they're kids with autism, families with military. Yeah, yeah. it's a very specific <clears throat> camp to give back to military families right. and their the the children and their siblings. Yes. Um, and and which I think is brilliant because the siblings get left out so much of the time. Well, that's what we encourage is yeah. the siblings to come because they meet other siblings that are going through the same yeah. thing and you know they form bonds and I think it's good. Yeah, we've had parents come on and say it was life changing. Yeah. Uh, Shannon Strayhorn is in particular her daughter who isn't uh, I don't think is able to come this summer because they had moved away, oh. but she's gone off. Uh, to school at a new school and had social skills that she didn't have before she came to your program and just has said to I her, just need to learn social skills. <laughs> well, 
well, apparently, I, you know, this I is know a, how to tell people to have social <laughs> skills. I don't have any myself. <laughs> I also, uh, we, I think we all could brush up on our social skills, okay. but, you know, you're making a difference with those kids' lives. So that camp starts on June 19th. Uh, June 17th. June 17th. Yeah. And it's conjunction with, uh, with Fox down the, uh, in San Diego. Okay. And I think the, uh, the newspaper down there, too. Wow. Yeah. So that's a lot of different things. Yeah. And the kids will come in for two weeks, intensive. Yes. It's full day. Full, it's 10 to 3, five days a week for two weeks. That's really exciting. Yeah. And and then in the course of those two weeks, they get to a finished product. They get to a finished which is to me is the most amazing thing. Yeah. Because we're taking, and especially in this camp, we're taking 50 kids that don't know each other. Most of them don't know each other. Yeah. And... Uh, you figure 25 hours each week, that's 50 hours. You got to take 10 hours out for lunch. Right. Okay, so that's 40 hours. And then warm up and dance is usually 10, 15 minutes. Right. So we're making the end product in less than 35 hours. That's really pretty And amazing. it ends up being a documentary uh -huh. uh, and then a theme. Last year it was uh, a combination of... Uh, um, Entertainment Tonight and 60 Minutes called 30 Minutes Tonight. But this year, uh, I came up with something that can get everybody, more kids involved okay. with, with more things. And we're going to call it the Inclusion Network. We're going to start our own Ooh. network. And so we will be creating a block of primetime programming with short films, commercials, um, takeoffs on TV shows, news reports. So it'll be like uh, a Nick at Night or... or Family Channel, right. a block of time. That'll how have amazing. the, you know, the banners and the bumpers and all that stuff. And, oh, yeah. how lovely. Yeah, so how lovely. Very yeah. exciting. And then last year you guys had a red carpet at the, yes. was it the, the San Diego Fi Film Festival? San Diego Film Festival, which we will be doing again this year. And yeah. I, I got to see some of the footage from it. These kids on the red carpet, they felt like movie stars. They were movie stars. Yeah. I, you can't pay for the level of self-esteem well, that Well, especially that this camp, because it, all the camps have their own red carpets. Uh -huh. But this was a legitimate red carpet <laughs> yeah. at the San Diego Film Festival and showed at the San Diego Film Festival. Amazing. So it's pretty, it's pretty exciting. It is exciting. Yeah. A, a really remarkable opportunity. And, of course, if you're a military family and you're in the San Diego area, I, I was told yesterday there were still a couple of spots open. I don't know if that's still true. Uh, I, I don't know. I haven't okay. talked to Amy uh, Evan. I, uh, I know there were last week. Okay. So, so and and there's no cost to the families because the sponsors have, have graciously, you know, taken care of all that. So really an amazing opportunity yeah. uh, for and, and a couple of spots left. And you can find out more information about that by going to act today, act today.org. Uh, I imagine that you guys have a link to it on your website as well. Uh, yeah, we do. Yeah. And your uh, website is inclusionfilms.com? Uh, inclusion Inclusionfilms.com. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we're going to take a break, and when we come back, we're going to talk about what what the other camps are, because we've been saying to people that you do camps all around the country, and yes. even some in Canada, correct? Uh, not this year? Not in Canada. Okay. Not in Canada. So I, well, I don't want to be giving out false information. Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I think someone but, wanted to bring a camp to uh, Canada, okay. but they never. Okay. All never, right. Did. Well, they should. I'm not allowed in Canada. No. <laughs> They have rules. Okay, anyway, we're going to come back and talk about some of the other camps because I know some of you might be interested in having your child or young adult uh, go to a camp close to you, so stick with us. Welcome back to Autism Live. Our very special guest here in the studio with us is Mr. Joey Travolta from Inclusion Films. So thrilled to have you here. So we were talking a little bit about uh, the camp that you're doing for ACT Today for military families, yes. but there are opportunities for families around the country to do a two-week camp, correct? Yeah. Uh, Right after uh, Act Today, we go up to uh, to the Bay Area, uh -huh. St. Mary's College, okay. uh, Futures Explored, and we have a camp there for uh, that first two weeks in July. Uh -huh. Then we take off for Pittsburgh, and we do a camp there for two weeks. Okay. Uh, then we are in New Jersey, my uh -huh. home state, uh -huh. and we're there for two weeks. Th and then the last camp is Oakland University, which is where it all started. Okay. They were the first one. This will be the eighth year wow. back there. And I've watched these kids grow over yeah. the years. So. You know who we had recently on the show was uh, Nick Guzman. 
Oh, Nick, and, yeah. uh, he's a product of our camps. Exactly, and I didn't yeah. know that. He yeah. was just another one of those kids that I yeah. met, and he was going to be playing at the Light Up uh, Light Up the Blues event uh, and opening for Crosby, Stills, and Nash. And so he came in and played a couple of tunes, mm -hmm. and we had his mom in here, too, and just another one of those parents that mm -hmm. in talking about what did you do right so that the rest of us don't have to reinvent the wheel. What did you do? And she said, oh, we did inclusion films. Mm -hmm. And and I said, okay, but you're just expanding my mind because I was thinking of it as more, and I knew that you let some kids work on makeup and some kids work on being in front of the camera, behind the camera, all these things. And I said, okay, you know, here's Nick, who's now a musician. Yeah. But, and they were telling about how you uh, were doing a song with him. Yeah. We, uh, uh, about three, three or four years ago, I had this song and I said, you know, it'd be great if we, when we get Nick in to record it and then we'll shoot it. And, and we went and did that and cut it together. So, and, you know. and here's a young man who, you know, had said on the show that he had a really difficult time, mm -hmm. uh, many years ago with that high school was a particularly hard thing and we know that it is that our kids are prone to bullying and now he's got amazing self-esteem no. is performing hey, he's good and is a happy happy guy yeah. and is so talented and when we ask mom you know what'd you do right she said you Oh, well, that's very sweet. <laughs> it's, that's very well, it's pretty sweet. impressive, I have to yeah. say. And then I keep hearing it all these different well, places. Well, you know, I mean, during the course of the summer, we, you know, we have 250 kids that yeah. we, in all different regions. And it's, and it's very, it's funny because each region, the camps are very, very different, yeah. but the same. Yeah. And it's just, you know, I have my, I don't know if I told you this last time, my $100 uh, test? No, I don't think I know okay. this. Because you know most kids with autism don't don't lie. Right. Right. Well, uh, when I, I I'll take a hundred dollar bill and hey, I lost this hundred dollar bill. Does anybody? No, it's not mine. It's not mine. <laughs> in, in the California, it's not mine. Midwest, not, New Jersey, everybody's hands <laughs> up. <laughs> I love it. That's my state. I, I love him? it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, think, I'm trying to think of my son, how he would react to that. Yeah. Uh, I think he would start inventing a story about how he might have had $100 at one point. Where did you find it? Exactly. I need to know exactly how you find it. That would be my son. Uh, okay. So, and when you do these camps in all these different places, mm -hmm. what is the age range? Is that still the 10? Well, to? it's funny because at Oakland University, they keep upping the age because okay. a lot of the kids that have been coming for years uh -huh. start to age out and they go, uh, Oh, oh okay. well, what can we do? So that goes up another okay. year. It goes up another year. Okay. But, uh, you know, the, the, it, it's tough on some of the kids because some of them, it's a thing they look forward to all, yeah. all year long. So, you know, I, I would say within the next couple of years, we'll have adult programs every place we do camps. Okay. But in terms of how young can they be? Oh, young? Well, I think uh, in Pittsburgh is probably the oldest starting age, and I think that's 12. Okay. Um, but most of the other ones are 9, 10. Okay. I think under 9, 9 and 10. 9 and 10 is when you start, you're able to okay. grasp the whole concept of, of okay. filmmaking. All right, because I have to get my child to do this. One, How old one is of these He's about to be 10. Oh, okay. uh, he's turning well, he's 10 ready. next yeah. Wednesday. Yeah. Um, and so in all the places that you listed, are you uh, doing uh, San Francisco here? would be, I think they start at like 9 or 10. I'm but are sure. you doing anything in Los Angeles? See, now it's No, the funny thing stuff. is that all, I, all, all the, <laughs> everything I do other than the Burbank workshop has been out of town because that's where I've been getting the calls to do it. So. All right, so I have to get, a, get together a group of kids who want to do it here in Los Angeles so that my child can do the in, inclusion films camp. Or you can come up to San Francisco. Well, how am I going to do that and do this. You're remote. I'll be doing it now. <laughs> and then I have to bring the whole team with ah, me. Well, that's I don't right. know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out because I want him to do this. I think that, that might be a cool thing to do a, 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 a two week from remote Sears. from the camp and do a. Oh my God. All right, we'll have to think about that. And have uh, the kids work on it? How cool would that be? That would that could be very interesting. Yeah. When, is, when, when is that again, San Francisco? Uh, it is um, the you know first two weeks in July, right after this. Oh, the, I don't know if we have yeah, time to get But I'm saying there. next year that okay, might be a fun year, thing to would, do. Yes, that could be a very cool thing. Yeah. All right, ideas. Uh, okay, I, I want to take a little another little break and come back and just talk about, though, the program that you do in Burbank with okay. the older kids, because I think that... Uh, uh, so many of our parents want to know, I, you know, they've got kids who are about to be teenagers, are teenagers, are about mm -hmm. to be adults, and they 
they want to know what works. And as we've said, everybody's saying that your program is amazing and it works. So we're going to focus on that a little bit. So uh, those of you at home, stick with us. Welcome back. Our very special guest here in the studio is Joey Travolta. I was just during the short break saying to him, you know, my son wants to make this this movie and you asked me, does he know how to tell the story? And I said, no, I, I hadn't really thought about it before, but I think that is the problem. And I also see that I am not the person to teach him, that when I try to talk to him about it, we get caught up in our own you know, right. the, yeah. the as my friends say, the mishigosh uh, that we have. Because yeah, most most of most of the kids on the spectrum know the technical aspects of it, uh-huh. but it's telling that story. Yeah, you know, and learning that, and and a lot of it. I and this is just my theory. Uh, when you have a story, yeah. there's a conflict, and usually with conflict, there's some kind of lie involved. Oh. So not so that we teach why. them to lie, but teach yeah. them. You know, well, if, you know, try this, because yeah. if you do this, that will happen. Yeah. You know, it's the obstacles that you, st- stories are propelled by obstacles. Absolutely. So uh, you put them in front of them and yeah. well, how do you get around that? And then yeah. by the time it's over, you have some kind of story. It may be wacky. Which right. A lot of time, right, but that's a lot of times you know, that they are, you know. Interesting. You know, they actually do teach our kids on the spectrum how to tell white lies here at mm-hmm. the Center for Autism and Related yeah. Disorders because it is a life skill that is to your benefit in a lot of different well, ways yeah. when you you know, when you're playing a game right. or applying for a job, you need to know yeah. how to tell a white lie. Um, yeah. so they do and how to recognize when a white lie. So interesting that Well, yeah, you know, that and that's sometimes it's just not to hurt someone's feeling. You're right. not really Exactly. You're just being, yeah. you know, it's that perspective taking kind of thing. But I promised we were going to talk a little bit about the program that you have that's housed in Burbank yes. for older kids. Yes. So tell us what that is. Well, that is uh, uh, that's the practical film workshop. Okay. Each workshop we make a 30 minute film. So we start with a blank piece of paper. Okay. We come up with the concept and while we're coming up with the concept, they're learning lighting, they're learning camera, they're learning editing. We build sets. Wow. We do everything that's done at a regular studio, we do. Okay. So once they create that film or whatever the project is, they could be webisodes, they could be whatever, right. that becomes the lesson plan. Okay. And then we break the script down. We budget it. We we don't wow. really budget because we don't have money to make the films. Right. But that's the best way to learn right. how to make a film. Right. You know, because when I was making low budget films, I had to figure out ways to do things. Yeah. And what a great life skill to figure out how to do something yes. with no money. Absolutely. You know, so that's you know. Uh, uh, but anyway, then you know, then we have the end product uh, at the end uh, uh, this year. Uh, I'm in. Uh, we have the uh, outside the box film festival in Bakersfield, uh-huh. which is where I have uh, my other facility, uh-huh. and we are running the disabilities portion of that. Wow! And it's going to be military, family films, and disabilities, and inclusion films is running that. So wow. all these camp films that we do over the course of the summer will debut not unlike it did in uh, oh. San Diego, but it'll probably be individual little films as right. we go along. So so if, if, if there's a parent out there <clears throat> or a young person who's out there who's on the spectrum and this is of interest to them, first thing that they would do is go to the website yes. and you have an application process or something Well, we, along those lines. It, we're funded through the regional center. Okay. So, in, and for people who are watching who are not in California, our regional centers are, uh, there are several of them throughout the state that they we have something called the Lanternman Act and if you have a child who is on the spectrum, you are guaranteed that there are services that can be provided. You have to apply for them and you have to work for them in terms of, you know, being on top of it. And uh, and there are service providers. So you are a service provider. Yeah, I'm a vendor to, to the regional center. So yeah. if you had a teenager or a young adult in California, you could go to your regional center and say, we want job skills and we'd like to yeah, do no, well, yeah we're 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 presently like i said in livermore california that which mm-hmm. just opened we're in burbank uh which is uh which is lanterman and all the surrounding regional centers and then we're in kern county bakersfield and then sacramento okay in the fall okay and so if you've got these kids in this arena, you could go to the regional center and say, we want to do inclusion films. Yeah. And then regional then they center send will... a referral packet. We right. meet with them in person and make okay. sure it's the right fit and it's something that okay. they really want to do. 
But if you're, <clears throat> if it is the right thing and the individual wants to do it, then the regional center will pay for it. So yeah, it's not a cost it, yeah. to the parents, which is right. a, an amazing thing, yeah. amazing opportunity. And then typically, do the, does the regional center fund just a short period of time of doing well, this? Well, it's or? different. You know, it's anywhere from uh, uh, three to four sessions. Okay. Yeah. And a session is? 20 weeks. 20 weeks. Yeah. So... And there are two sessions a year. Two sessions a year. So it's, okay. it's like a junior college. You know? Okay. A yeah. pretty amazing opportunity. And then yeah. what is the day like for them? Uh, well, it's uh, each place is different. It depends on how we, you know, like uh, usually Wednesday, uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays are tech days, okay. which are camera and lighting all day long. Uh -huh. Editing is almost every day. And then they'll do a little acting and then they'll develop okay. the script. So it, it's it, it depends on... Uh, in the beginning, it's mainly developing the scripts and then learning all the technical stuff as you okay. go. And is it like but a 9 to 5-ish kind of uh, day or 9 uh, to 3? 10 to 3. 10 to 3. Monday okay, through great. Friday, the same kind of schedule as the camp. The camp, great. Uh, but I, again, it's 20 weeks. So. And have you had young people go from the camp to then going to the, the regular program? Um, yeah. In Bakersfield, I've had. Uh -huh. We don't have the camp here in Los Angeles, so we haven't. And... Uh, up in the Bay Area, we've had a couple of the campers that are now in, in the program, okay. and we'll probably get more of them up in the uh, Bay Area. And then some of your uh, young people then go from doing that to doing internships and having jobs. Yes. Yeah, uh, we had several kids work on a TV series. Yeah. Producer Aaron Kaplan stepped up to the plate and hired three of our kids. And Go Aaron. Two of them you know, work most of the year. Uh, they work for me at Inclusion. Uh -huh. uh, one of the things that's been pretty cool is uh, uh, groups like uh, 211 LA County uh -huh. hired us to do several jobs, like, you know, $25,000, $30,000 worth of jobs. Oh, but nice. in turn, we hired the graduates. And uh, we did a PSA for the state of California, wow. which in turn, you know, uh, supplied employment for our kids. Uh, and, you know, we probably did almost 120000 worth of little jobs at inclusion films that are specifically to hire the graduates. Okay. So, and if somebody's out there and they have a business and they want to make a commercial absolutely. or something, Absolutely. Commercial, uh, commercial PSA. They just get in touch with me. The nice thing is that you get the pro... Because the, the, the model for the program is they work beside professionals. Right. So you're going to have the professional right quality and i'm a professional director right so you automatically have my expertise yeah. involved with it and you know it's a win-win situation yes and you have said that everybody should be hiring these individuals on this spectrum. absolutely and one of the things that i've learned from the kids is that uh i i have no problem asking for people <laughs> as you came to me and wanted yes. some interns and i said well is there any money involved? Yeah, and I'm I said, not... I don't know. Right, but if and I don't I ask. Found, yes, and yeah. then I found out, and I'm thrilled that we're going to be able yeah. to pay an intern. Yeah. And I, you know, uh, but it was a really good question, and, and, yeah. and I, you know, at, at that moment in time, I didn't know. But we are going to be able to pay an intern. It's not a ridiculous amount of money. Hmm. It's, but it's uh, a job, it's and they get job. experience. And, yeah. Yes, and, and, and it's going to be great for us because mm -hmm. we need the help. Yeah. Heaven knows we need the help. <laughs> In more ways than one, but I'm I'm really thrilled, uh, and yeah. we're looking forward to meeting whoever it is that we're going to have uh, working with us. But I I really want to put it out there to people that I I love that you have taken something and you've thought outside the box, and that there are more ways for all of us to think outside the box, and we all should be. And I'm thrilled that we're going to start to put our money where our mouth is. Well, and that's what I do because I hire. You know, yeah, I have uh, uh, several. Uh, regional center clients with autism that work for me, yeah. a couple of them full time. So that's great. Yeah. That's great. Well, I just really appreciate you, and I want to urge everybody again that if they want to know more information about the kinds of things that you're doing and see if it's a good fit for their child, that they will go to www.inclusionfilms.com. Mm -hmm. If people are outside the state of California and they're thinking, yeah, call me because I get it all the time and I okay. give them advice, you know, on okay. on what to do, and they're always surprised when I call them back personally. Right. So. Well, you know. so if you want to be talking, but I, I got nothing to else to do. I'm like, no, you're the busiest man on earth, starting all these. I'm on the uh, road 200 days a year. Yeah. Yeah, but Amazing. I love it. It's like, 
going to film camps is like vacation to me That's because I'm there for I'm in one place two weeks at a time which yeah. during the year I'm not so. <laughs> well and it's clear that you love what you do yeah uh, and all, all my the people that work for me love what they do which that's a great gift in life yes Th that doesn't come around every day well I think it's remarkable that what you do and as I keep going to these events and keep meeting uh, amazing young people and hearing over and over and over again that they're products of your program I think that speaks volumes and then talking to the parents and hearing the same thing from them. It just, uh, I've, that's the highest compliment that I think anybody can get in this community. You're getting it done. Thank I said you. it when you were here the last time, and I say it all the time. You're the real deal. Thank you.